We're now going to look it in particular at uniform electric fields. So charged parallel plates produce a uniform electric field inside them. So if we consider these parallel plates, one at potential V and the other plate at potential zero volts. So the zero volts is representing our negatively charged plate and the plate at V is representing our positively charged plate. So if we was to draw electric field lines going from positive to the negative plate and sh again reminder showing the equal spacing is telling us the field is uniform. So to determine the electric field strength between these charged parallel plates, it's given by the voltage or the potential difference between the plates divided by the distance between the plates. So we can see that if we want to increase the electric field strength between charged parallel plates, we would need to increase the voltage or the potential difference across the plates, or we'd have to decrease the distance between the plates. This equation also gives us an alternative unit for electric field strength. So it, it is the units of voltage, which is volts, divided by the units of distance, which is meters. So giving us volts per meter. And that is also equal to a newton per coulomb. So I'm now going to show you the proof for electric field strength for a uniform field. You do not need to know this proof, but it's for those who are interested. So here you have a charge plus Q, which is moving from plate V to plate zero V. So then work is being done on that charge so for it to move between the plates. And if you remember from AS, work done, its definition is equal to the force times the distance moved in the direction of the force. So the force in this case is the electric force that is acting on charge Q and that force is in the same direction as our electric field lines. So it's acting horizontally. And so the distance moved in the direction of the force is the distance between the plates. Because work is being done, energy is being transferred. So the charge is gaining electrical energy. And from AS, electrical energy transferred is equal to the charge times the voltage the charge is moving through. So we can equate both of these so that FD will equal QV. And if we rearrange, so F divided by Q equals V divided by D. And force per unit charge is our definition of electric field strength. So that's telling us then electric field strength is equal to the voltage across the plates divided by the distance between the plates. And this equation is only true for charged parallel plates and electric field inside them. Here we have an electric field going from plus V to Earth. And again, you can see it's uniform by the equal spacing between the field lines. If we were now to change the distance between the plates to half D and to replace the top plate from plus V to minus V, the electric field strength would double because we've halved the distance, but we have the same voltage potential difference across the plates. How we would represent this is then to half the spacing between the lines. 
So we can see that the concentration of the field lines is twice as much as before, so the electric field strength has doubled. Also, because the top plate is more negative than the bottom plate, which is Earth, zero volts, the electric field lines go from positive to negative, so from Earth to the negative V plate. A uniform electric field can also be used to deflect charged objects. So here you have charged parallel plates producing a uniform electric field and you've got a positive charge entering the electric field at right angles with an initial velocity of U. So when the charge enters the electric field it will be deflected towards the negative plate. So in the direction of the electric field charge Q will accelerate towards the negative plate because the force acting on the charge is acting vertically downwards. In the direction perpendicular to the electric field, the charge will move at constant velocity and that's because there's no force acting in that direction. The only force is acting vertically downwards in the direction of the electric field. So this is very similar to projectiles and mass moving horizontally in a gravitational field.